Let's do a self-exploration meditation on Atmanirvriti Chapter 9. It has become knowledge. Let's sit comfortably and close our eyes. Be in the now. Be in the nothingness of the now. Recognize that the now is simply no thingness. Everything is born from this no thingness, and everything dissolves and disappears back into this no thingness. The sound of my voice is arising and disappearing into the nothingness. Notice that it is nothing but an idea. Simply an idea of sound. Hearing is only perceiving a sound idea. Every perception of sound is nothing but an idea. The idea arises and disappears into the nothingness. Notice if there is a taste in your mouth. Maybe the lingering taste of the food that you last ate. Or simply a bland taste. The flavor arises and disappears into nothingness. Notice that it is nothing but an idea. Simply an idea of flavor. Tasting is only perceiving an idea of flavor. Every perception of taste is nothing but 
an idea. The idea arises from the nothingness and disappears back into the nothingness. Notice if there is an odor in your surrounding. Maybe a fragrance, maybe a foul smell, or maybe simply no smell. The smell arises and disappears into nothingness. Notice that it is simply an idea of smell. Smelling is only perceiving an idea of a fragrance or foul smell. Every perception of smell is nothing but an idea. The idea arises and disappears into the nothingness. Remember your favorite childhood toy. Maybe a doll. Maybe a toy car or something else. Notice that the image arises and disappears into nothingness. Notice that it is nothing but an idea. An idea of sight. Notice that you do not need eyes to perceive an idea of sight. Seeing is only perceiving an idea of sight. Every perception of sight is nothing but an idea. The idea arises and disappears into nothingness. Remember the last time you hugged your beloved family member. Remember the warmth of that hug. Remember the sensation of that touch. Notice that the sensation of touch arises and disappears 
into nothingness. Notice that it is nothing but an idea. An idea of sensation. Notice that you do not need the family member to perceive the idea of touch, to perceive the idea of sensation. Touching is only perceiving an idea of sensation. Every perception of touch is nothing but an idea. The idea arises and disappears into the nothingness. Every sense object disappears into knowledge. Knowledge itself is consciousness. Consciousness itself is knowledge. Every sense object disappears into the nothingness of consciousness. It is therefore wrong to say, I know it, because knowing denotes a function. What ought Properly to be said is, it has become knowledge. It has become knowledge. Every perception, every sensation, every thought, every feeling, is simply an objectification of knowledge and it dissolves back into knowledge, disappears back into knowledge. Everything disappears back into the vast ocean of the void. Stay in the void as the void. If an idea arises, simply witness it. Grasp nothing. Reject nothing. Receive everything, but keep nothing. Be a silent Sakshi. Stay in the void as the void and notice every idea disappears into knowledge.
thoughts dissolve into the gap between two thoughts. Perceptions dissolve into the gap between two perceptions. Sensations dissolve into the gap between two sensations. Feelings dissolve into the gap between two feelings. Stay in the void as the void.